they got some pockets. Yeah, they they're pretty deep at SMU. Oh, yeah. We'll yeah. see if we can work those in high school with pretty great kids up going at SMU. But we'll have more relevant teams, which we were coming up with college game day. The first time since 95, a major college football program is being canceled. And it's hard to understand versus the head to head. How do you frame that debate that's going on in there? We'll go on. Yeah, the, the, the criteria says to us that when all things are equal, teams are uh, indiscernible, that the head-to-head -head comes into play. So at this point in time, the committee has felt like ECU is ahead of uh, Baylor and that that head-to-head -head is not coming into play here. But you're using the, the, the phrase, yet, yeah, that those folks didn't hear that because they're booing, but, but you said that it is fluid, it is different than the polls, so it's likely to be the liveliest conversation, would you say, if both TCU and Baylor win for this committee, do you think, later today? I think it'll be lively conversation. The thing you have to remember is we will have a full body of work for the entire season for all the games. And we'll have the champions game. So those are key pieces for us, and it will, it will be a lively debate, no question. Jeff, you talked a lot about the importance of the end of season and winning a conference championship. This is uh, somewhat hypothetical, but I think you know where I'm going. Would you foresee a situation where a team could lose its conference championship game, Alabama, for example, and still be considered by the committee as one of the four best teams? Well, again, that depends on what else happens in these championship games. So I would say it's not impossible, but it's hard for us to project out without knowing the other results of other games. Absolutely. That's a fair answer. And if some of those teams do stumble in Alabama settles, that'll be a big debate. Jeff, you know you get a big job ahead of you. Thank you very much for your time this morning from Grapevine, Texas. All right, guys. What do you think? I mean, that pretty much is it. That is like pretty care. That's where the door really, that's where the momentum started to swing in their favor here at Baylor. Right. And, then, and then I think they hurt themselves last week. One thing to remember is I hear all about this is American, you know, head to head <laughs> matter. One thing to remember about that, in 2008, when OU played Texas and OU ended up uh, losing to Texas, the final vote by Art Riles, now he said he didn't vote. This is coming, Art Riles' vote had Texas at number five and Oklahoma at number one. So, that, and, and Texas beat them. So, and, and we can talk all we want about his head. That was a different set of circumstances. I don't know. Baylor beat TCU. Right. <laughs> that to kick in. Yeah. You know, when, when Alabama sat at number five, Mississippi State was number one, and they beat Mississippi State, they didn't keep Alabama at five, they moved them up to number one. And they yeah. Yeah. Resume's not even close. That's why they're not close right now. <laughs> well, that shouldn't matter. You're just going week to week. Nice to know. You have still not been here as long as I was.